ever wondered how your favorite social media personalities manage to get to do what they love and at the same time get paid for it? So unless they've inherited some sort of money from their parents, it's very likely that they are entrepreneurs. And no, it's not too good to be true because in today's world, it's very possible thanks to technology and to the internet. So if you too want to turn your passion into a profitable business, here are seven things that you need to know. Number one, building a business doesn't just happen. You need to actually make time for thinking, for creating, for brainstorming and for planning. Yeah, life is full of distractions and things getting on your way. But if you really want to be an entrepreneur and start and build a business, you need to make it part of your daily life and daily routine. So you need to tell me, I already have a full-time job or I'm already a student. Sure, and here you need to think about your priorities. Is it your priority right now to create a business? If it's not, then it's okay to wait a few months or a few years to start your amazing business. However, if you think this is pretty much your stable and regular life, then you need to make and find time for this passion and for this business that you created. So this may be coming home and getting your dinner and shower and dedicating two hours a day to building that business that you've always wanted to launch. You need to be laser focused on your goals and keep going and be persistent until you have actually achieved what you have imagined. Number two is building a business is very different from being self-employed. So, so many people now they say they are entrepreneurs and business owners when in fact they've just created a job for themselves and there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to be aware of this difference because uh, if you're building a business, you need to have a business model and you want to make sure the business model that you're putting in place is actually a real business model and it's not something that relies entirely on you. For example, if you're a hairdresser and you say that uh, you are an entrepreneur and you have a business of hairdressing, if you have to do the hairstyling and the cuts yourself, then you're not a business owner, you're just creating a job for yourself. However, if you have a salon and you're hiring other hairdressers and the salon is working with or without you, then you are a business owner and you have a system that's already in place. Always ask yourself, would this business model enable me to one day eventually sell my business? So if the answer is no, that means your business is pretty much entirely dependent on you and you can sell yourself right but you're selling your time so just make sure to know this so that when you're designing your business you know is it something that you want to be independent of eventually or is it something that's going to rely entirely on you Number three is successful entrepreneurs have a very strong why bigger than just making money True, we are motivated by this financial independence because it helps us have the lifestyle that we want and live our lives the way we want. But successful entrepreneurs have something like much bigger because they're driven by the stories of their clients, the feedback they get from them, the impact they have on them. They're so laser focused on the value that they're providing to their customers and they're focused on that service, that need to be of service to others. So if you're only focused on the money, I would suggest think again because the hard work and the hustle behind building a business is tremendous. It's huge and you need to have that strong why behind you that's, that's going to be there for you when you're feeling low and you need to know what it is. So I urge you to know your why before you start building your business because you're going to need to know why you're doing all this because at some point you're going to tell yourself, well, I could just get a job and you know, I'll be making money and that would be actually true. But you need to have a strong why that will keep you hold on to your dreams and keep going when things get really, really rough. Number four, entrepreneurship 
is not for everyone and um, it's so true. Some of us like safety, security, things to be predictable, and entrepreneurship is not for people like that. Entrepreneurship is so uncertain, it's full of roadblocks and things getting on your way, so you <laughs> need to know who you are. Are you really entrepreneur material or not? Like I have a friend of mine, he tells me I'm fine, I never want to be an entrepreneur, I'm happy with my 9 to 5 jobs, and that's, you know, he's real with himself and good for him because he knows what's making him happy. And you need to do the same thing with you, like check with yourself. Do you want to be an entrepreneur just to look cool on social media? Or do you want to be an entrepreneur because you feel you have something really valuable that you want to contribute the world with that a job may not actually give you the opportunity to do, so you want to do it on your own. Number five, Entrepreneurship is not all that glamorous. I mean, I have some friends of mine who post on social media things like driving luxury cars and big watches and things like that. Good for them. But to be honest, entrepreneurship, it's a hell of a lot of hustle. Like you work day in, out, weekends, particularly the first years of business. So don't be fooled by what you see on social media because it's very glamorized. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you need to be prepared to work really, really hard. And for example, I have my mom, particularly the first year, she would tell me, oh, well, you're working on vacation when you're supposed to be like by the beach and things like that. But the thing is, I never mind because I love what I do. I mean, I love it. It's part of who I am. So I don't mind receiving calls from my clients during my vacation or even getting on my computer. I mean, I, it's hard for me to separate these things because they're part of who I am. I love serving my clients. I love to make money as well. And at the same time, it's my passion. I don't feel it's work. So you need to know as well, if it's something that you're prepared to do, are you prepared to work day in and out and really be available for your clients when they have a question at like seven in the morning when you're still asleep? Well, you shouldn't be sleeping at 7 a.m., but that could happen. The point is, entrepreneurship is for people who really, really want it so badly and they're willing to work on themselves, work on some of their skills and the qualities that they have to actually better their lives and better the lives of others. Number six is entrepreneurship is a marathon, not a sprint. I hear so many people telling me, Stava, I need to make money very fast, so what do you suggest? Here is the thing, entrepreneurship is not like something that happens overnight. First of all, you need to build your reputation, you need to do some trial and error and figure out strategies that will work for you and it takes time to build all that, it just doesn't happen overnight. So there are probably some success stories of people who succeeded very fast, but I'm sure that's the minority. For the rest of us, it takes a hell of a lot of time to actually grow, to learn, to make sure you're confident in what you do, to build your reputation, to attract new clients, to get your clients recommend you to other clients and things like that. It takes a long time. And even if you wanna start an online business, it does take a long time. Now there's so many companies out there selling the exact same thing as what you're selling. So how are you gonna compete with them? It takes time to build a reputation and attract clients. So if you wanna go for entrepreneurship for a quick buck, I suggest you think again. And my last one is entrepreneurship is probably one of the most gratifying feelings ever. I'm sure entrepreneurship is not a feeling, but I mean the fact of being an entrepreneur is so gratifying because you're actually creating something out of nothing. You're giving birth to a project that will later actually help other people and impact their lives. That's a huge, just like, like giving birth to actual human beings. Like you feel they're your babies and you're helping them grow. I just find it very gratifying when I see my business um, growing and being mature and scaling and I feel like 
I've been there from the beginning and I'm caring for it and I feel like it's really a great feeling of growth. I don't think I can get the same feeling had I worked for somebody else in a, their own company. So yeah, I would say it's one of the best feelings to create something out of nothing and make it grow and scale. So if you feel ready to turn your passion into a profitable business, I have an online course for you that will help you create and build it from scratch. It will help you each step of the way creating and designing that business you've always wanted to launch. So if you're ready to start having fun and make money and a living out of your passion, definitely check the link down below in the description box so that you know more about this online course and see whether that fits your expectations and needs. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down below what is your passion and how you're going to turn it into a business. I'd love to know and I'll see you very soon on social media. Bye!